is slightly stronger, but this draft looking really, really close. Precious solo kills on the PA, on the Ember Spirit. Let's see what happens. Huh? What's happening right now? Shad is going in on bot. He went pretty deep. This was the home play, which completely backfires, and instead, Naive just goes top. To just secure the area for Spectre, because Spectre is just not there where she wants to be. I'll oh, tell you where the side of Kana in the mid lane and boom, he sidesteps the arrow. They got way too greedy with that. The horn turnaround jumping in. Jay is going to be brought down. RP is going to be interrupted perfectly by Toby. The skewer to bring them back. He's forced to use the RP just to run away. And we knew it was coming. Aramis was waiting with his arm extended to yoink that one away. As now Viking are the ones that can make an RP play. And they'll still find Cheshire Cat. In the end, the RP is for nothing. Yeah. The BKB will yep. win the fire as a result. Toby was quiet well, but it was all just a distraction. And now, Viking, they look into the pit. They think about taking this. Gilga's going to go in. Needs to be careful. That's two leaps used pretty wastefully. J4 is going to be brought down. That's going to be die back. OFP has been stolen on a naive. The trap is there. They're able to actually control him. Bring him low. Final impetus through. We'll get the kill. Celery able to make sure that the damage is there. The double buyback comes out. But Magnus, what is that buyback going to achieve without an RP, without a skewer? You don't do much. And with these heroes low on Viking, I mean, they're just going to heal up again. They have got the nature's attendance in at 20 seconds. Roche's on 2k, though. He's on oh 2k God, they're SP. Going. They're going to let them. They, they have can't. to. They can't. They can't. There's no RP uh, on Aramis, no Spectre Haunt, no BKB on SF. That's a Roche, but that's an expensive Roche. Comes an impossible target in these fights. Yeah. And the smoke, by the way. Looking to go in. Lift, because Aramis did get his blink dagger, which will allow Toby to get the full up stun. And the big team fight from Khan is dead. That is his Beautiful. dieback, and they're going to instantly move towards the top. They don't care that the Aegis is there in their hands. Spec is chasing in. Look at the something, and Gilga's gone. He's There's dead. no way. He's, he's gone. He's dead. The moment the only that question... Hattrosi Pace touched you, that was it. Yeah, the only question, who got the kill? And it was Shad, and he's pretty happy about that, because um, his farm has been quite lacking, but which is going to be like 1k crits 24 minutes into the game. That's pretty much a one-shot. But Mio is also one shot. HP. Ooh, <gasps> he gets away. <gasps> Holy moly. That additional armor from the arcane ring probably saved his life there. But they're oh going in. God. They use the horn. They're chasing these shots, trying to force out spells on him. Naive trying to force the fight. BKB, DD, chase the forward onto him. He is pretty tanky, but one crit would bring Shad down, and there it is. They get the kill. Naive, however, is being brought low. BKB, boom, stands to fight. The RP is going to come out. The steel, though, Aramis moving in. The counter RP, the turnaround with the Requiem will make them explode. And as a result, Gilga, he's running away, but not fast enough. They're going to keep chasing him. Me on the side is still spotted out by the Corrosive Haze. One remnant left, one dream to escape. And one more hit is all they'll need to end that dream. So far, she has a DD again. Again. And the level 18 is also there. Boom. Armor still has the RP again. Boom. The front saw by on him. There's the horn coming in. They're forced to fight. BKB's got activated. Naive down to half HP. Activates the DD. Aramis goes in with the RP though. Heals to save him though. Moving in. Cow RP. Cheshire Cat catches on to both of them. They're moving. Looking at the Rubik. Turn around the boom. He's charged up the red Boom. Does get it out. The fear effects on the Naive. And now he's trapped here. He needs an escape plan. Can't move quick enough. Into the pit. Trying to escape from this. Celery is hot in pursuit. Looking for the target. Keeping on top and moving in. Toby with the double stun is good enough. They do get the kill on the boom, but they lose PA as well. And as a result, the damage may be too much as three heroes from Khan fall. Make it fours. J4 has nowhere to run and hide. Yes, you finally got rid of the big bad scary fiend, but there's another spooky spirit that goes bump in the night, and his name is Shad. So that's gonna be a huge RP potentially, and they are taking the source pretty quickly. And this guy not really losing that much HP. They're a little bit reluctant. They don't want to commit too hard. Mio has moved into the pit now. They know they need to make this much quicker. And jump in. Stun on the two from Toby. There's the horn in the back line to try and break it up. Soulbite comes out. RP as well. Onto the two. But they're just trying to finish the roast. This might be the wrong choice though. They're staying on top of Naive. Bring him low. Almost dead. Requiem charged up. Aegis gets picked up by Shad. Moving away. Mio hit by the fear. The stun follow-up is good as well. And he needs to move away. But he can't. The double kill comes out for Shad. They lose the PA as well. He didn't even pick up the cheese. They're just surrendering everything to Viking. And they're gonna give over more concessions here. Cheshire Cat, he can't move away quick enough. Toby's in hot pursuit. He has got the sprint in one second, but the blink just in time to move away for this Magnus. But still, a big loss again for Khan. Yeah, exactly. Now they're, they're going all out. They're going all out. Into go. the uh, high ground. Satanic radio Group. naive. They're going straight on a Shad, who has the Aegis. This could backfire quickly as there are reinforcements in the neighborhood. Mio trying to will away him. Celery targeted. Heal up though is good. The lift. Control up on the naive. He's holding that BKB. He doesn't want to throw it out too easily. 
But Mio, he needs to get out of it. Quick, BKB gets out of it. They target onto Boom, but he activates his own BKB, and the damage on the knife is way too high. He's going to be brought down. Mio's BKB running out as he hits the low ground. Aramis has no lift for several seconds, but he does have a steal. He'll move forward. Mio is running out of spirits. That's the final one. The back line could be cut if they're not careful because they're chasing in. And Gilga, <gasps> nope. This kitty cat will purr no more. G G. That, that, that's it's when you know it's really done, is when you type yeah. three Gs. Yeah, it's the GG, G. Like, it was our last effort. Like, this fight was a last effort fight, but they couldn't burst anyone. They want me on the lane, probably because the Viper against Magnus matchup is not that great for the Magnus. So they decide, post for Magnus. Off laner and the post for Scoria. What? Rough. And as I talk about that, first plus drawn. It's actually top. Aramis goes down to J4. The influx of Impetus Max builds. It's just, uh, it's just natural. Oh, Toby being gone on. Do they have enough damage? It, it's questionable, but maybe. With the enchant slow and the hellbear clapping into him, he should be dead. The dive through is way too late to save the day from Aramis. Dive is your tower as well. I mean, they might just take it with this wave. Yeah. Harpy also there. Just oh, shit, you can't be careful. One, two procs would be enough. The Moist shot through. Does get the kill. Mio does arrive, though. Shad turns around with a gust to ensure that the follow-up spike damage isn't going to be there instantly. But the Laguna, the follow-up. Nice stick from Shad. Will save his life. Skew up. Oh. Dodge, though. Gilga. Not able to find it. Shad's still running, but they'll be able to get him in the end. It's just more time wasted for Mio. And they did still forfeit that tower, though. And that means Ooh. that in the mid lane, look at Viper. Yeah. Rao mm -hmm. is the target. They want to get that arena down. They need to be careful. The problem is the Gust reaction might be too good. They try and catch him. The Gust gets thrown out. However, the arena has been placed. And Shad knows that he is dead here. The more on the mid. Move. They move in, though. They are going to get the tower for this. Because now they know there's no arena. They'll move in. Clear the trees. Toby doesn't care too much. Throws down the fast storm. Gilga looking for the play. Can't actually find it, though. And the stuns keep naive out of the fight. Gilga is extremely low. He's just gone. Power of Viper. But they do defend the tower. Yeah. That's a pretty big one. They get to draw. Defend the mid tower. I think they're pretty happy with it. Uh, with it. Tower dies too fast. So yeah. if you take this move, you'll be fighting into high ground fidget. Instead, they look on a Toby. They stun him up. They'll draw it and run him down. You also buy some time, but Mars is coming in. Root, nice gust, stops Mars from using the arena. He needs to be careful himself now. BKB gets that base knife, takes it. RP does connect, turn around, trying to come across. Arena thrown down as well. Aramis on the high ground, refusing to use the egg, will throw it out now, but Shad not able to dodge out and move away. He is dead. Boom. BKB won't protect him even me. He won't get the double kill. The egg will go off, but I don't know if they have the damage to die for. He realizes he has to cancel the media hammer, gets Root on the side. The fight will be split. Toby, we ran down, and Aramis has TP away, will not be successful. One of the best. Knife. Heroes. He's got haste rune here. Moving in. Aramis dives around. He's going to drag him back towards the egg. And now Naive needs to run away. He will get out of range of the egg. That could have went catastrophically. But oh now my God, no Aramis egg. no egg. No egg. Oh, Gilga. Whoa. Oh, he catches him. On the dive through. Aramis on the high ground is going to be roared down. What a gamer. <laughs> How did he do that? I think he's Well, hacking. you see, like... he, he took his finger and he pressed E. And whee, look as a bird. I mean, that, that's got to be an investigation right there. Oh, but on the arena. Game. Toby, the next target, trying to bring him down. Naive still got that BKB to work. Not going to throw it out just yet. BKB from Boom, Viper Strikes, trying to move away. Naive, he needs to deal with the drow. He's not. Shad, he chases targets to his own dismay. Four stuff to get him away, but they're chasing forward. Yeah, it's got the Manta to dodge out. So they'll turn around and look to move towards the pit. It's their only play now. The problem is they may have overshown their hand because they've already lost the Magnus to Shad. And Shad is quick to identify that survival is more crucial here, which is why he screwed the Magnus' initiation over. But as a result, Mag still has an RP. Sven, however, in a little bit of trouble. He doesn't have a BKB for 15 seconds. He is going to be ruined again. They're slowly whittling this boy down to half HP. And J4 needs to run away from Boom quicker than this. This slows. Oh, no. This might be a painful death. Toby sidesteps the LSA. Moves in with the root. And Edge is not long for this world. Chase across, though. Toby looking to be punished by this. Naive does have the BKB again. Buyback comes out from Edge. Now Media Hammer being charged up. On the Naive forcing out the BKB. And Aramis, he has got that egg. Four stuff away from Mio. He could pop it now. Boom. With his own BKB going to be popped inside the arena. The egg's going to go down. RP to connect them all together. The egg's actually going to be popped in time. Moving across to the stun. Boom's going to be brought down as well. Drow has to run away. They're staying on top of him, though. They're able to bring him down. Shad is dead. And the only one left alive is Celery, who will be able to TP away. But the bigger problem here is is that next to the pit, you just gave over a crucial rope. Yeah, right now. Only 30k oh. net worth. I got 25. These oh, towers. Man. Which they have more armor. 
Media Hammer slowed down. Skewer was Q attempt. But forced off in. They're going to try and force that egg out of Aramis. And he knows he has to use it. But he knows Mio oh, will not take long no. to kill her. And now they'll jump in onto Toby. He's next on the hit list. Now he with the BKB. The Viper Strike to try and protect. Fuels to buy some time for the Underlord to move away. But he's trapped in the wall. No way to escape. Break on the Naive. Trying to do enough damage. Boost BKB running out soon. Moving out with the Storm Hammer. Successful RP. Gilga catches them all. Brings them back towards the LSD. Oh. Dragging them in. And melting through the Viking lineup. As they'll chase on the Shad. They'll run him through as well. And it looks like we are getting very close to a potential game three. As Khan are associating dominance with the lineup and Viking are looking very scrawny right now for exactly that show of an orbital bombardment at this stage uh, like we talked about Viking they don't have anything BKB piercing and uh, Boom. Ooh, what whoa, are you whoa. doing LSA what Toby, what are you doing here? Get out of here as well. This is not the place to be. Shab with the BKB to run away, but Naive is moving quick enough and clubbing hard enough that he is in trouble. Egg has to be thrown down. Will allow them to back away. Cheshire Cat might bite the dust as a result, but no, that bulwark keeps him sturdy. Kilga, that's ambitious, but you can be in this game. I mean, what is their counterattack now? They have no Egg. They have no Viper. They have no Underlord. And they soon, if they're not careful, they will not have a base. People will. And also the slow for the Royal Ranger, really hard to get away from a Sven with that, uh, with that kind of stickiness, you know? Stormhammer, low cooldown, and oh, whoa, whoa! Just a cat, but they have follow-up, my friend. It's not just him you have to worry about. Gilger is in to drag him back, the BKB, the Hand of God, it's not enough. Shad is dead and gone, they'll chase him for more. They'll find Celery, they'll find Boom as well. We are gonna get a game three here in the lower bracket for, uh, playoffs as Khan take game two and force Viking against the edge of their seat. One step close to the edge, but who's going to be there? We don't know. Pressure into themselves. Um, that lane is going to be super good for Viking. Mid voice word against Invoker. I think Zero it's zero. Like... Is he can actually get gold quicker than most heroes in the game, and he can also die quicker than a lot of strength based heroes in that off lane. As Aramis gets oh. the foul hit, they even got the salve out of him. One point scorched earth. Not even face boots. This guy is not ready. And look at boom. Boom comes out to him straight away. They're trying to move forward on top, and Phantasm does get activated. Stun throw now. But with Mio here, they should have the damage to bring him down. It's just a case of whether they hemorrhage any kills on the way out. But it looks like they're quick enough with just a measly level one Scorched Earth to make their escape. Phantasm's gone. You expect that's when Khan might try and make a move on a Toby, but he's still a 2.5k HP hero with that armor on. And Mio gets found straight away, trying to be with his simulate, but the mana burn is too much. And they make it look so easy to get rid of this mischievous Void Spirit. And a kill. Or do they want to snap the Roche? No, I don't think so. No, you you want an easy pick. Preferably someone like Gilga. J4 is the only one who pokes his head out, though. Gilga goes in, <gasps> toss back. Straight around to Boom. He's way too deep here. Gilga will give his life. Tornado thrown out the chop as well by time. Boom. Hit off by the Doom. They actually put it out on the wrong target. They hit the life stealer instead. Boom. It's low enough to die still, though. This stun is good from the LSA. Toby throws out his stun to try and find enough time to retreat here. Shad almost free of this Doom. The kiss is coming out. Toby tanking up, moving in. Aramis goes deep. LSA thrown out because he's forced to fight with this. The Laguna's going to be thrown out and get the kill on the Cheshire Cat. It's a free for two exchange. But with the Medusa still alive, Roche might still be possible. They need to be careful of Shad here, though. Jump in. Oh. Celery. They force the fight back out. Shad's looking to move forward towards Naive. Will go into Gilgar instead. Celery looking to move away. It has got the Glimmer Cape in a few seconds, but no health left. So he won't be able to get it off. But Gilgar will die. All of a sudden, everyone agrees that Roche may have been uh, a little bit of a rash decision from both sides. Well, uh, he's gone for the Desolator and well, paid the price. And they know how to make a move. They go straight on at Toby. They throw out the Doom with the BKB from Cheshire Cat. You can chase this one down. Aramis has no real way to protect him just yet. The BKB is running out soon. They zone away Gilga. He stands to fight on Toby. Glimmer Cape will reduce the damage somewhat, but they perch it off and keep on chasing. Cold Snap to stop him from finishing the kill. They'll still be able to find it. Now with the Stone Gaze chasing forward as well, but the Disarm on tonight means he can't hit any targets just yet. Laguna shotguns down Cheshire Cat, though. And J4 on the side is going to be chased by Aramis. Meanwhile, Celery able to escape the Glimmer Cape. They need to be careful of a counter attack and get everyone on Khan out. J4 won't be so lucky. He's going to be eliminated by the Lena, but they're pinging out Naive. And this life stealer moves much quicker than the Medusa. He wants to force out that BKB, but it's going to be a hard one. He needs reinforcement to do so. One, two, three. And that's an ambitious TP. He has to use it now. As soon as Celery comes, he's like, well, crap. But they're going to keep going. This is the issue. You're so slow. And Shad is so quick. The buyback comes out. The movement in the kiss. As Gilgur trying to save the day, he will. But the price will be high for him as he gives over his own life. 
They do at least find Aramis as Mia was able to cut the back line. Celery ball over the cookie. The turnaround. They bait him in. Now dissimulate to try and move away. He gets up the high ground, but the cold snap is out. The BKB Shad needs one tap, but he can't find it. The astral step gets out, but now this is the thing. Life still are just hopping a creep and run for the high ground. They're going away. They can't reach him. Shad turns around. He goes in once more on the J4, willing away at him. The cold snap, so he can't retreat. This is his buyback. He can't afford to go down. But what do you do about this life stealer? Nobody wants to touch him. Nobody wants to be near him. And as a result, they just let Bambi go bye-bye. DK has been critical of their success. You can see he's hunting now with the Silver Edge. He's even got the Magic Piercing Spell Immunity. Oh, jump in. They throw out the Doom. Toby's just going to walk it off. They'll jump in, try and punish him for this, though. They're not really able to protect the CK anymore. They know it, but maybe there's some counterattack afterwards if you're not careful as Khan. They ping Celery. LSA moving in. Shad with the Doom as well. j Forge is gone. Cookie in. Straight forward on the Cheshire Cat. He's used the BKB. He's gone as well. And Gilga, he tried to toss him away, but he dies too fast. The Yules, the LSA set up afterwards, and Tiny will join him in the grave. It looked good for about two seconds before it fell to pieces. Good fight. One final stand, and they're going to need that. Toby moves in the Dragon. Medusa just brought down so quick. Gone. No buyback either. The kiss is to cover them as well. As Tiny goes into the up, the Doom's going to come out straight away in the boom. Buyback out from the Tiny, but Cheshire Cat's BKB will not save him from Toby. As he will just run back in. The GG gets typed. And Khan, the last hope for CIS. CIS hopes are crushed. And Viking will proceed through to that lower bracket final tomorrow. Damn, that Medusa got blown up. She 